Hello, welcome to my channel. I want to share with you how to stop nightmare and dirty dreaming. Three powerful keys. The first key to stop nightmare and dirty dreaming is to set the atmosphere in your room. The kind of atmosphere in your room before you go to bed determines the kind of dream you have. Godly atmosphere will cause you to have godly dreams and ungodly atmosphere will cause you to have ungodly dreams. Atmosphere is very important when it comes to spiritual warfare. I have discovered by experience some practical insight on how you can change the atmosphere in your room before going to bed. To set a godly atmosphere, you have to do this. Play, praise, and worship songs, godly music, to purge the atmosphere in your room. You can also leave your television channel on a Christian television program. Now you need to understand that there is power and authority in the spoken word according to Hebrew chapter 4 verse 12. Now you also need to understand that the anointing and the power of the Holy Ghost on a message or a song when it's being sung or preached remains on the recording CD or tape and this power and anointing is released in the atmosphere when you play the song or the sermon. Now, if you can't get access to praise and worship CDs and tapes, then you can also praise and worship God. Pray and worship God before going to bed. This also changes the atmosphere. And evil spirits are unable to live in an atmosphere where the worshippers praise and worship the Lord Jesus Christ. Worship and praise brings down heaven on this earth. Now, it creates a spiritual covering around you. Now, the Bible is God's written word, but it must be spoken to become a life-changing force. So the word of God in the songs and the message carries God's power and anointing. And as you play them, you change the atmosphere. Now key number two, purge your mind by the renewal of the spirit, your inner man. Now the state of your mind before going to bed determines the kind of dream you have. God said he will keep in perfect peace the one whose mind is stayed on him. 2 Corinthians chapter 4 verse 16 talks about renewing the inner man. You see, as, as a believer, God has given you a new spirit or a new personality. And this spiritual person is within you. And the flesh is also within you. So when you feed your inner man, your inner man takes control over everything. And this helps you to have a sound sleep. When your inner man is starved, your, your flesh takes over, which allow demonic dreams or nightmare. Also, Corinthians chapter 3 verse 10 says, The inner man, the new nature in you, is renewed according to knowledge. That is the knowledge of the word of God. So when you feed on the word of God, your inner man is trending and this also affects your mind the kind of thoughts you have before going to bed now it's very important to feed your spirit early in the morning with the word of god and just before you go to bed this helps your mind to be stay on the lord and helps you to have a peaceful sleep. Now you need to understand that renewing the mind or the, the inner man is a daily process. You can't renew your inner man today and the next day you forget about it. No, it's something you must do always. It's a continual 
process. I have never been able to explain this, but any time I opened my Bible and began to read, I sense peace and renewal. After reading and meditating the Word of God, my mind feels clean and washed as if being washed in water. So the state of your mind before going to bed affects you. It determines the kind of dreams you have. Key number three, claim the promises of rest in the Word of God. There are two powerful and beautiful scriptures which talks about God keeping us in peace and giving us sweet sleep. And you need to claim those scriptures. So now let's look at these two scriptures. Scripture number one, Psalms chapter 4 verse 8, which says, I will both lie down in peace and sleep for you alone, O Lord, makes me dwell in safety. Now, second scripture, Proverbs chapter 3 verse 24 says, When you lie down, you will not be afraid. Yes, you will lie down and your sleep will be sweet. So these two scriptures gives us the promise of peace and sound sleep. So claim the promises. Take the scriptures and make them yours. Change the pronouns to personal pronouns and confess these scriptures. Meditate in them before going to bed and you will not have dirty dreams and nightmare. Now, if your children are suffering from nightmare, you need to pray with them before they go to bed. Ask the Lord to surround them as a wall of fire and also ask God to send his angels to encamp around them and they are not going to have nightmare. Now, I hope you have been blessed by this video. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and share this video if you have not yet subscribed. On this channel, I do teachings on spiritual warfare, deliverance, the prophetic, the word of God and prayer. I'll see you in my next video. Thank you.